What's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at LACT, which is an AMD GPU controller application. And we're going to install it from the Cache OS reaper repos. But as you can see, there's also repos for the AUR. And I'm sure you can find a way to install it in Fedora and other... Oh no, it's one of those ones where I actually have to update my repos before we can do anything. So 7... And yes, there we go. We have it installed. Now, I've been looking at the comments of the new video about the NVIDIA issue. It's only about 10 games that have this problem, but other games have a minor performance loss of like 1 to 5 FPS. So it's not really that big of a deal, but IPC intensive games do perform better on Windows. And you don't have to worry if you're switching over to Linux. It's not going to be a problem. So I'm going to open this up and we're going to copy this in to here. So this is how you activate it. Done. Great. Close that out. And then I'm going to restart the application because I don't know if it needs to be restarted or not. Open it up. So it's not going to look this fancy for you. I made mine look this fancy. My entire OS looks this fancy. Look at this. Yeah. Uh, it recognizes my GPU. So there's the information. The Vulkan shows the amount of features that it has. So, you know, not every GPU is going to have support for everything, clearly, but it's all there. Uh, we can overclock our GPU, which is, again, very nice. There's power states, and there's advanced modes. There's thermals as well. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, but right now, we're sitting at about 3 gigs of VRAM because I am recording. And, uh, yeah, wow, that's actually a really, really small webcam. There you guys go. All right. So, uh, I got a comment about my webcam. The one thing I'm doing different is there's an HDR... LUT applied to it. So that's pretty cool. So there's a power usage limit. Can I like just do that? Will that help with some things? Maybe I'm being thermal throttled or some or power throttled. I don't know. Uh, sure. Is that going to make my temperatures jump up? Probably not. Uh, went up about a little bit and then there's oh we got curves look at this wow so we can actually adjust everything based on curves that's so cool and then you just got static where we can just basically go I mean, we're gonna be at 75 the whole time yeah it's actually ramping up that is definitely really cool I don't know how the hell they did this but this is a very awesome change for sure wow so do you actually go up or no put you at 240 here we go i don't think changing the power state's really going to do much of anything for this card because this is the one that it warns you about about damaging uh you soon got Basic and advanced, I guess, don't really do anything. Uh, maybe they do something for AMD cards. But I wanted to show you a good way that you can underclock your NVIDIA GPU and overclock it if you need to. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, it shows you everything you need to know. I like this application. I think this application looks damn cool. So, again, why is it useful? Well, there have been people asking me, how do I underclock my NVIDIA GPU? Now you know. There were people asking me, how do I overclock? Now you know. How do I add a fan curve? Now you know. I mean, all in all, I do like this software. This is nice. And the fact that it's Adweta kind of fits my theme going on right now, it means that I can modify it and change it any way that I want, make it look fancy. And yeah, yeah, I guess that's about it. 
I will leave a link for its GitHub in the description below, but I did show you how to install it if you're on Cache OS, so just do it that way. Uh, if you're on any other distro, I don't know. I don't know how to install it. I came on here, I got this done on Arch. For any other distro, you're gonna have to rely on the developers for that one in hoping that they packaged up a .rpm or a .deb and went from there. I blurred my own eyes. Yep. Okay, there we go. We're good now. <laughs> uh, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video. I really hope this helps somebody. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, don't forget, we have membership here on the channel. So if you really want to support me, you can do so by becoming a member. That's as easy as clicking that join button right below the video. I think it's over on this side now. Let me try this. Mm, I hate doing that. I'm never doing that again. But it really does help me in the long run.